Okay, let's say I want to calculate the pressure, temperature, and density in the uh, ISA atmosphere. Well, if I was doing it from the command window, I'd have to know my formulas. So, for example, let's say the altitude was equal to not to 10,000 meters in steps of 1,000. So I've declared my altitude, and then I'd have to write the formula. I'd say a temperature is equal to T naught, which is 288.15 minus the lapse rate, which is 0 0.0065, multiplied by the altitude, and that would give me my my temperature. And if I want to do the pressure, then I'd say pressure is equal to P naught, which is 10, uh, 1, 3, 2, 5, multiplied by, in brackets, uh, 1 minus the lapse rate, which is 0 0.0065, multiplied by my altitude, divided by uh, T naught. And <coughs> all of that then to the power of 5.2854, I think it is. So if I do that, I get my um, my pressure. And then I can do the same for the density. Uh, I can say density is equal to pressure divided by uh, temperature multiplied by the universal gas constant. There's my density values. Okay, so <coughs> I could do that, and if I wanted to add another altitude, I'd have to go and do it all again. So the simple thing is uh, to write a function to do that for us, where we can just call the function. All right, so to do that, I'll click on uh, new, um, pardon me, that was a mistake. And I'll click on new, and then go new function. Alright, so I'm in the function area and I can write my function. But uh, I've already created one um, to over here called standard atmosphere. So if I just double click on that, here it is. Okay, so I've cleared a new function where we're going to pass called standard atmosphere, STDATM. I'm going to pass into it the height and I want it to return the density, the pressure, and the temperature at the various heights. So the first thing I would do is the clear some constants, so like the height of the Trap pause the upper region of the st the stratosphere. Uh, the next region of the stratosphere, the lapse rate, the ISA value for temperature at sea level, what the temperature is at eleven thousand meters, the pressure at sea level, the density at sea level, and I can determine then uh, pressures or the pressure at eleven thousand meters, which is what what I'll need later on. Okay, so I've just declared all these uh, constants, if you like. And then for the troposphere, well, the height I pass in, I want to check which values are within the troposphere. troposphere yeah. So I'm going to have this vector called htrop, which is going to do a logical value. So anywhere within height that is less than or equal to 11,000, it's going to put a 1. So anything that's greater than 11,000 meters is going to get a 0. I can then say the troposphere your temperature is equal to, and there's just my standard uh, formula for the troposphere temperature, and whatever I get out, I'm going to multiply it by the mask, h-trop, this guy here. So it'll only apply then to the heights that are less than or equal to 11,000 meters. And similarly, for the pressure in the troposphere, I'm going to use the pressure equation for the troposphere and I'm going to multiply that then by the mask uh, to just give, make it apply to values that are less than or equal to 11,000 meters. Okay, the opposite of that is to <coughs> find the values that are above uh, the troposphere, so those values that are in the tropopause and lower stratosphere, which is between 11,000 and uh, 20,000 meters. 
So I'm just going to use the formula, which is P11K, which is this guy here. So I could multiply that by the exponent of G, uh, multiply by the H minus 11,000 all over R times T, 11K. So that is the standard formula for pressure in the tropopause and stratosphere. And I'm just going to mask it out by multiplying it by the, the values that apply to the tropopause stratosphere. And for the temperature in the stratosphere, well, in that tropopause and stratosphere, in that f first 9,000 meters between 11 and 20,000 20, meters, in that value, the value for temperature is constant. It's 216.65. So I'm just going to multiply 216.65 by the stratosphere mask. And that will give me my, my values for that. For anything higher than that, so in case anyone puts in a value greater than that, we could do the calculations, but in flight dynamics for uh, commercial aircraft, uh, we will never be above 20,000 meters. So what I'm saying is if it goes above 20,000 meters, just leave the temperature to be uh, 216.65 as if it was in the stratosphere and just keep the pressure as if it was at there 20,000 meters. So I'm using the same formula except same formula as here except I'm putting between 20,000 meters for the height. So basically we're saying if you go above 20,000 meters I'm going to cap the values you input at 20,000 meters. Okay so I have my pressures and temperatures. Uh, to get rid of the mass <coughs> I will just add the tropospheric temperature to the stratospheric lower temperature to the stratospheric higher temperature. And I'll give you my temperature vector. I'm going to do the same with the pressure. So if the tropospheric pressure, stratospheric lower and stratospheric higher, you know, this is where we've capped it at 20,000 meters, capped it at 20,000 meters. So I'll put them into my two vectors, and then the density uh, can be calculated from the pressure divided by RT. And that's what we're going to return to the uh, user. <coughs> So, for example, if I say, uh, so density, pressure, temperature equals STDATM, standard atmospheric of, um, say, 5,000 meters. The system will now go off, <coughs> call the function, pass 5,000 meters in here, do my calculation, and will give me density, pressure, and temperature. Okay, but uh, what we might want to do is to do it for a range of values and maybe plot it. So we would use a script file. So with that we would click on new and we click on script. Okay, so we can write our script here, but uh, I've already prepared one, so let me open that. So I double click on my file and here it is, so lab one for flight dynamics. So I've just declared what the altitude values are. I've now called my function. So I've passed naught to 20,000 meters uh, in steps of 1,000 meters uh, to my function. And then I'm opening up a figure, figure one. And in figure one, I'm going to plot uh, temperature against altitude. And in figure two, I'm going to plot pressure against altitude. And in figure three, I'm going to plot the density against altitude. So when I write my script, I'll save it as a as a .m file. And when I'm ready to run it, I'll just come up and click on run. I got my values. And there's my graph. So there's figure 3. Figure 2. And figure 1. So we can see you know, as we go up in altitude, the temperature drops off till we get to about um, 11,000 meters, and then the temperature remains constant in the stratosphere for 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 our purposes anyway. In terms of uh, pressure, as we uh, go up in altitude, the pressure is dropping off, and in density, as we go up in altitude the density is, is falling out. Okay, so that's how you would write a function uh, to calculate the standard atmospheric conditions.